thinking behind Shape It is to bring to young audiences work that is exciting, groundbreaking, emerging, not expected within the norms of what might be conceived work for young audiences. Já mám pocit, že to bude takový uh, neustálý proces vlastně i po tomhle tom hraní, že po každé s, s každýma dětma to bude vlastně nová, nová zkušenost a nový uh, hledání asi toho napojení a té atmosféry. Do you think contemporary dance is accessible for young audiences? Children are not the audience of the future, they're an audience for now and they deserve that respect. What makes exciting work for children? Triggering the action, either through participation or through engaging with the imagination. It can be good for them that the artists go to their familiar space and not only them to the theatre. The idea that we're investigating is um, that you can take a really successful dance work for adults and by um, working with children, you can make adaptations and, and broaden the reach of that work. I think that the topic is the most important. We're talking about the future and young audiences. I think it's a huge opportunity for all of us because we realize how many narratives can be built uh, around the work, how many unpredictable responses you can collect from different cultural settings, how many surprises you may encounter when you present a work. The residency is, I think, one of the core parts of the Shape It project. Bringing choreographers and the artists in the same space as children allows the artists the chance to throw any assumptions out of the window. What does a four-year-old love? What, do, what upsets or enthuses a 12-year-old? What do they find exciting? What do they find boring? Um, gives our artists for Shape It an incredible wealth of feedback so that they can step back look at how the work that they have created is being received and make some decisions. The technique I've been practicing since 2000 is uh, popping. Like anime, my solo that I created in 2016 was the first time that I really explored this idea of metamorphosis. From the beginning, when you enter, you're into a character. You incarnate someone or a context or something that you will uh, develop during your, your dance. Dall'incontro con Linda porto con me la consapevolezza che bisogna dare attenzione a tutti i piccoli movimenti perché da questi movimenti possono nascere davvero delle belle coreografie anche dai movimenti più semplici. Každý den ma vlastně určitý téma. Uh, ty témata vychází z toho originálního představení, kdy jsme vy, uh, jakoby vyjmuli nějaký scén, na kterých chceme dál pracovat. Ty tam, že třeba dneska budeme s nimi pracovat fakt fyzicky, zapojíme do toho tanečního jakoby, procesu, ale třeba zítra budeme pracovat spíš jakoby, uh, v roli my těch performerů a je, jim vlastně nabídneme uh, roli nějakých jakoby, scénáristů. Takže máme různé takové formáty, jako jak s nimi jako pracovat a jak jim jako by vyměňovat i ten fokus a ty role. Shape It je mezinárodní projekt, který otvírá bránu mladým tvůrcům tanečním, k dětskému a mladému divákovi. Prostřednictvím vlastně rezidencí autoři těchto děl je adaptují s pomocí dětí jako spoludramaturgů, je adaptují do verze, která je jim více přístupná.
For me, it's the first time to work together with uh, high school students for such a long time. Mm. And I think they can just teach us so many things like, rather than uh, us teaching them. We ask them to imagine where this uh, uh, experience could be if they could tell us uh, like another type of environment. Mm. And a lot of nature came out. Like, yeah, to be in a forest or in a park or in a space with less distraction. It goes from an individual into a collective experience. It goes from an inner feeling, an inner, an inner feeling, an inner understanding of oneself to then look out into the space, to then connect to other people, to then look at the materials that are in the space. It's providing a time space and allowing things to occur. Moja skúsenosť s plí a malými deťmi je mám pocit najviac šokujúca pre mňa. Keď hrám plí pre širokú verejnosť alebo pre, pre staršie deti, tak tam už predsa len majú, oni majú nejaké vnímanie toho, čo to je divadlo a ako by sa mali správať. A vlastne tí škôlkári, tí, tí ako 4 až 6 ročné deti v podstate ešte nemajú vôbec kontext toho divadla nejak, nejak zapracovaný v hlave, takže nemajú problém sa proste akokoľvek prejaviť. Pretože proste to je sila 100 detí alebo tak, ktoré, ktoré do toho idú naplno. A, a potom už sa to nedá zatvoriť a vlastne mne to nevadí. Ale tá energia je proste explozívna, no, tak mňa samého to vlastne dosť tlačí ďalej v tom predstavení. A hlavne mám pocit, že potom, keď sa vrátim do divadla a hrám to pre, mm, pre akoby, všeobecnú verejnosť, tak, tak už to nemôžem hrať inak. Že už sa neviem vrátiť k tomu vlastne, ako som to hrával predtým. Že stále mi napadá to, ako to vidia tie deti a a sa mám problém. If you make work for children and young people, you have the enormous, amazing privilege and honor that you are, can often be their first ever experience of live performance. We find it very important that every, every child and a young person has access to arts. Access is love. Pssh.